Uh... Oh my god! Welcome to the Pokemon Crystal playthrough. Oh wait, that was the last part, wasn't it? Wait, ah. didn't this ha Wait, didn't this happen? Deja vu. Wait, this isn't crystal. This is yellow with a Cyndaquil. <laughs> they lie to us. <laughs> Everything you know is wrong. Up is down. Black is white, and short is long. And we are not men. No, that's one thing we know is right. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Or do you? Or is it? Dun, 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 dun. Look, oh, dude. It breathes. You know, they took a real lazy approach in later games by giving it two different frames that it just, like, kind of goes through. And then they, like, move the sprite about. Like, like it goes through two frames, like, but with a magic arc, it, like, flops. So it's, like, moving in those frames. That it... It doesn't actually just go through those two frames in, like, one position. Yeah. But here... The sprites are given a sense of realism. Like, as you saw, the Hoot Hoot breathes and blinks. Mm-hmm. So I was like, wow. It's at least, at the very least, three frames. At the least. And... Yeah. And that also is a new feature in the second generation. The use of items on Pokemon. And if and you it's... actually... If you actually traded Pokemon on um from red, blue, and yellow using the using the time machine, you can uh, um some Pokemon like hold items. Like for instance, the Nidor Nidoran family. I th I'm pretty sure hold TM27 or TM26. I know it's in the 20s. Like when you trade them over from red, blue, and yellow. I think Snorlax holds a leftovers, and Pikachus have a chance of holding berries. Hmm. Anyway, um, another new advent in the second generation was the use of an experience bar. Mm-hmm. Now we can tell just how close we are. To growing a level. Mind you, it changes in, like, the third gen to, like, one that... Goes, goes the other way. Yeah, it goes the other way. Seems like I liked it better this way. Cause yeah. I don't know. Right to left seems like the like because you are decreasing the amount of experience points needed to grow the next level. Yeah. So it seems natural that it would decrease. Yeah. They sell balls. <laughs> that guy's gonna jump. He's actually. Why does no one? Why does no one care that that guy's gonna jump? If you look at his sprite closely. He's actually pissing into the water. Well, he's trying to piss everyone he's, off. So he's trying to piss everyone off so that they don't notice that he's going to jump. Mm -hmm. He's actually got his head laid back and he's facing towards the water. So, like, that's the sort of pose you you do when you're pissing into the water over a cliff. A sense of fulfillment and manliness. What do I call that manliness? But okay. You're um, pissing into the water from a cliff. Nurse Joy looks pissed. Oh, she just realized that um that pond is actually her water supply. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that guy Thank is God. actually Nurse Joy's um boyfriend. And Nurse Joy cheated on her boyfriend, so now her boyfriend is pissing in her water. It all has an overarching story. Yes. That will never be explained ever again in this game or this series of games. So, 
In about two minutes, we've gotten three berries to replace the one that we already used. I like this. <laughs> and we won't be seeing another berry for a long time. Oh, no! This one's female, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's another thing. Genders in Pokemon. That's right. The gender advent outside of the Nido family was implemented into practically every Pokemon save legendaries. And a few po other Pokemon that you probably would assume don't have genders because they have no way of telling if it has a willy or not. Mr. Mime? There's actually a female Mr. Mime in this game. There's only one. No and sense. The snakes! Ah! And, um, but yeah, things like Magneton and Coughing obviously won't have genders because they're freaking balls. <laughs> they're, like, they're round objects, they don't have any... Yeah, I'm not going to go into the details of it because that's board... That's, this is borderline furry. <laughs> It seems that, um, Mr. Pokemon isn't exactly good at hiding bodies, as you can see the intestines over there. They're power cords. No, they're not. They're red. With the color of intestine, red means danger. And electricity, if you get electrocuted. No, no, no. That's what you turn after you get electrocuted. No, you actually start to fry. You don't turn red. Well, how many fried foods have you seen are blue? Fuck. Aha! Uh -huh. I need to hide my dead bodies. I need to learn the ways of Mr. Pokemon. You know, did he just... Yay, we're healed! Such trust. <laughs> 